The once credible environmentalist Chris Packham has created a new documentary with Channel 4, and it isn't just woke, it's downright dangerous. Titled Is It Time to Break the Law, Packham interviews eco-terrorists the world over, including the author of the book How to Blow Up a Pipeline, and he concludes by pledging his support to groups like Just Stop Oil Watch. That doesn't necessarily have to mean that you put explosives on the pipelines and blow them up. But disrupt their construction, yes. And maybe blow them up. If we do blow up pipelines and we do get caught, yeah. we're going to take a beating from the state. If you're an activist that's already made a decision that, yes, you're going to break the law, so long as no one is hurt and there's no lasting environmental damage, then you'll have my support. Completely deranged from Channel 4. This is how the Home Secretary, Suella Braverman, responded when she was informed of Peckham's, uh, Peckham's extremism this morning. He, he's saying that he actually endorses it. Um, he doesn't condemn it. That's incredibly irresponsible and reckless, is what I would say. Calvin McKenzie, was that documentary appropriate uh, for Channel 4 to broadcast tonight? Well, it... Channel 4 are in, uh, are in a massive ratings dive at the moment. Uh, they are in tremendous commercial trouble. I mean, why to God the, the government didn't agree to sell it uh, last year? Oh, Probably got a billion for it. And 10 years ago, would have got would have got 3 billion for it. But the reality is that they will do anything now in order to attract themselves a headline. So if somebody, somebody, some, some, some idiot producer comes along, we, we're going to get somebody to say that we'll blow up an oil pipeline. How are you going to, how are you going to blow up an oil pipeline without a spreading everything everywhere? And secondly, actually causing potential death or destruction to somebody. It's quite wrong. Actually, that kind of thing, they'll be pleased, Channel 4, that we're discussing it. They'll say, oh, we got a good show on Dan Wooden last night. That's all they care about. They are mad quite mad at Channel 4. And honestly, I do believe that it's time that the government actually just got rid of the thing. Well, of course they were meant it, to. Like, Boris was going to do it, Truss was going to do it, and then yeah, Sunak gets in and he stops it. It's absolutely ludicrous. But look, of course, Calvin, uh, a seismic story from the world of the media today. Our old boss, the man who made you the longest serving, most successful editor of The Sun, Rupert Murdoch, has stepped down as chairman of Fox and News Corporation. He told you he was never going to retire, uh, Kelvin. So what's changed? Well, I think I think one important thing's changed is that the world has changed. So in his time, if he had an idea or a colleague had an idea, he could go ahead and do it and he would hand it down to the consumer. Now, media hands up what it wants to watch, which is why GB News was hugely successful and why we have a tremendous, nothing, a fantastic idea, Fox News. Remember, a totally unserved market in the United States, the most successful capitalist market in the world, didn't have a right wing news media, right? Now it has one, and it is making three to four billion dollars a year. What a sensation that should be! And why shouldn't GB News be the same? And the answer is: in America, the advertisers advertise with Fox News, and they they boycott GB News. It's a disgrace. No, that is well. You know, I agree with that. Uh, obviously. Uh, it's succession within the family, Lachlan Murdoch to take over. I mean, some people, uh, Kelvin, say he's actually more right wing than Rupert. So there isn't going to be a big political change, is there? Well, Rupert, Rupert hasn't got any politics. He doesn't give us stuff. He said, oh, we'll have that idiot Starmer in if we can make more money. Or we'll have that, you know, we'll have that idiot Truss in and make more money. He doesn't care. Couldn't care, couldn't care less about Trump, one way or the other. All he saw was the ratings go up of Fox News. So the, the truth about the matter is that Lachlan actually believes in the kind of Trump world. He is really quite right with. Actually, he's no bloody fool either. So this painting this bloke as a complete idiot, because the problem is when Rupert dies, you know, the four kids all have the votes. And the suggestion is that directly Rupert dies, boom, they were going to vote and throw Lachlan out.
Mm. So this succession idea has lots to go yet. It's fantastic. Can I just say on a personal note, a brilliant, brilliant guy, very mm. engaging, by the way, always thinking, always plotting. And the fact that he was listening to you did not indicate that he was supporting you, right? A like did not mean that you weren't going to get the elbow as long as, in the same way that his wives all got the elbow, the children all got the elbow, and the executives were all thrown out, including me. What did he say when he sacked you, Calvin? Uh, well, he didn't say, he didn't, he didn't uh, sack me, actually. I got, I got the sack from, um, for the, well, for the second time I got the sack, uh, for, uh, by, from Rebecca Brooks and uh, with Tony Gallagher, who was the editor of The Sun at the time. Now, now, there's some suggestion that Rebecca will be thrown out as part of the change. That is absolutely not true. Um, and she'll be there for quite a long time. She gets on, she gets on well with Lachlan. And as Rupert said to me once, she said, Rebecca certainly knows how to gain my family. She's, she's obviously very successful uh, executive, Calvin, yeah. Yeah. too. Yeah, within, uh, the Murdoch, within the Murdoch thing. But obviously, you know, with the emails deletions policy and the fact that they write a massive checkout almost mm. every day at News, at, New, at News UK in London in order to stop Rebecca going into court on phone hacking and being cross-examined in the high court on phone hacking, yeah, they're all, they've all got their hands in the blood there. Don't well, do you know what? That. Do you know what? Do you know what, though? I think uh, Rupert created an incredible company and his he legacy did. will last. Obviously, yeah. there are challenges. There are challenges across the media. Of course they are. Yeah. But I think for both of us, the sun and what the sun means to Britain will always stay in our hearts. And I guess we just have to hope... Uh, that they that they're able to find a way to reinvent it for a new generation. They're certainly trying. It's very big no, digitally it, now. No, it's, it can't. It can't be reinvented like that. It takes channels like GB News and other outlets, which represent mm. working white working class man and woman of this country. Uh, the the paper is dead, and actually, actually, the management don't want it either.